Hi folks, welcome to RJ Impact. Today we're going to be talking about crop circles. Crop circles are patterns found in crop fields, usually a cereal crop like uh, wheat or barley. And while crop circles can be and are formed by human hoaxes, there is a fringe sector of theorists who believe at least some of them have alien origin. While crop circles are found around the world, a large number of crop circles have been reported in the UK and the majority of these are found within 15 kilometres of the Avebury Stone Circles, also known as Stonehenge. History There is a 1678 pamphlet called The Mowing Devil and this talks about the devil cutting circles in a field of oats. We also have seen in folklore that there are tales of fairy rings, which are likely to have been inspired by fungi, that do create circles, but in an entirely natural way. The circles as we know them today appear to have originated near a town called Tully in Australia in 1966. There, a farmer called George Pedley one morning heard a hissing sound, and when he investigated he claimed to have seen a flying saucer rise and fly away. Going over to investigate his land, he discovered a circle of clockwise swelled reeds measuring about 9 metres in diameter. Now these became known as nests and as the press, and then sightseers came to the site, another two flying saucer nests were discovered. In the years that followed, a number of other circles were also found in Australia, and the official explanation for the Tully circles was eventually put down to be a willy-nilly or a dust devil, and these are common enough phenomena. The flying saucer itself was an illusion caused by debris lifted by the dust devil. Modern times. Well, the term crop circle as we know it was coined in the early 80s and came about after the growth of circles in the UK, which began in the 1970s and they became a widely known phenomena in the 80s when the press started to take an interest the case for aliens. One of the main reasons given in the case for alien origin by theorists is that the crop circle shapes are too complex to be caused by humans who would generally have to be working at night and without torches to remain secret. Now despite all efforts, crop investigators who call themselves seriologists have never witnessed the creation of a circle in formation. They do however cite the fact that there are always strange noises accompanying the creation of circles that they managed to tape while nearby. They must have been caused by a spaceship landing or plasma vortex, whatever they are. Now some people claim the circles give out mysterious energy forces. The case for human causation. Well, reality had to hit for the crop circle research community when in the 1990s two landscape painters, Doug Bauer and Dave Chorley, confessed to single-handedly starting the entire crop circle phenomena, which they did in 1978 using ropes and a plank of wood. They admitted being inspired by the Tully reporting and said they came forward when they heard that some seriologists were applying to the government for research funds. Some of the so-called experts were reluctant to give up their lucrative TV hosting gigs, but eventually had to accept the hoax. Also gone were their tours of genuine circles, for which some people paid up to £2,000 a week to attend. Oh, and the strange noises? Well, in one recording, the strange noise was identified as a grasshopper warbler. And the energy forces? Well, nothing's ever been measured. The self-proclaimed experts stated that they could distinguish an alien circle from a man-made circle. One such expert, G. Terence Meaden, asserted on camera that a circle was genuine when in fact it had been filmed in construction by Britain's Channel 4. He appeared to be crestfallen when confronted with the hoax. Yet another seriologist pointed out that the circles all consisted of arcs and curves and so didn't reflect human intervention who would include straight lines in their designs. Hmm, overnight a crop circle appeared including straight lines and angled edges. That really debunked his theory. Enjoy the moment. Some of the crop circles we see today have actually been commissioned by companies wanting publicity and an unusual way of advertising themselves. Now despite this commercialisation, some of the circles are truly a marvel to behold. Here is a montage of some of the ones that we at RJ Impact think remarkable. We hope you enjoy.
Any conclusions on this? Well, no doubt about this one. Our conclusion is... <coughs> hoax.